everybody, John Malanka with the United Patients Group. Be informed and be well. And tonight, I'm going to talk to you about something that is essential to all of us for health and wellness. It's called a good night's sleep. I've always been a great sleeper until the past couple of years. Maybe it's my age or just life stresses in general. Whichever it may be, sleep is so important for my internal healing, well-being, as well as my mental health. I've always had a lot of energy, but lately as I've gotten older, it does take some time for me to wind down each night. I don't know, is it the morning caffeine? Is it my late afternoon workouts or is it just life in general? Whichever it may be, here are three things that I personally do to promote a good night's sleep. The first is to establish a bedtime routine. And what I've learned is that a change in bedtime routine can affect sleep. Perfect example, Crim's absence was an enormous change in my life, especially my evening routine. So I've had to develop different nighttime habits over the past four years. My schedule's changed a bit, but I do maintain consistency. And this is what works for me. I now have a bedtime regimen that does not include bringing wireless devices, such as my phone or laptop to bed to me, which was hard at first, but after a while, you will get used to it. The second thing that I do, rain or shine, and I do this religiously, is engage in daily exercise, which depending on the season, ends around around 7 p.m. each and every night. I'm an avid cyclist, and when I can't ride my bike, I do trail running, and on those special occasions, I take a walk with my mom. And I do find that, for me, this helps begin the process of unwinding after a long day's work. Um, exercise and being outdoors boost my natural endorphins, and it will for you as well. It also provides a source of vitamin D, which I don't know if you know, aids in sleep, as well as joint health, while boosting my, as well as your immune system. When I return home, I make a healthy meal, minus the heaviness of creams, caffeines, as well as sugars. And actually a couple of years ago, which I have shared, I changed my diet completely, went 95% vegan, which has really helped with the inflammation in my body, not only on the outside, but most importantly on the inside. And I do take a number of supplements throughout the day and have for years, which does help my overall health and wellness. Uh, the third and final thing that I do to prepare for bed, I take a nice warm shower followed by Miriam's hemp cannabis products, which can include CBN, CBG, as well as CBD. Out of these cannabinoids, CBN helps promote a healthier sleep cycle, sense of calmness, as well as relaxation. CBG, which is another one, aids in a, heat, a healthy sleep cycle. And CBD, which many of us are familiar with, is in higher doses, can be sedative. I don't know if you know that. And just like the others, also supports calmness. In these three cannabinoids that I just mentioned, none are psychoactive. But if you do prefer some psychoactivity, THC also does help with sleep. Let me share a little background on Miriam's Hemp. They grow and manufacture their own products. They specialize in full spectrum hemp products. They have proprietary formulations and natural extraction methods. They have third-party lab testing. And it is recommended by many of the doctors that I work with in this industry and beyond. And this is a company that I've used and worked with over the past eight years. And it's a company that I do trust. They put, like us, they put patients first. After my cannabis intake, I brush my teeth. And yes, I do put on face cream. Many of you asked me that as well. I then stretch for a good hour, something relaxing to music, a book on tape, podcast, or even my favorite TV show. I use a foam roller. I use straps. And I do use a face mask. Uh, the stretching diet and nightly cannabis intake really helped keep my body and joints loose and actually wake up with no joint pain whatsoever. What a gift. Typically with my routine and when the cannabis kicks in around the 60 minute mark, I start getting tired and sometimes even fall asleep while stretching. When that happens, how great is that? I just jump right into bed. And so here are some other tips when establishing a routine for a good night's sleep. Avoid liquor, avoid a lot of liquids or you'll be up all night peeing, which I have done. Uh, avoid late caffeine intake, as well as heavy and late eating, because staying asleep is just as important as falling asleep. Regarding cannabis intake and its benefits, which helps me stay asleep, once you establish the perfect dose for you, you should find that it does not cause grogginess in the morning. If you're groggy, cut back your dose and just find that sweet spot for you. But I'm happy to say that this routine and the cannabis products have not only helped me, but my mom, some of our friends, and many of you who I hear from on a daily basis. Here's to a great night's sleep. Good night, and we'll see you soon. Good night.